you. Hey guys! Welcome to, day to today's video. I have no idea if this is going to be filmed or edited the same day as my previous video and posted or next day or whenever but I'm wearing the same outfit because I'm filming two videos in a row because I'm feeling inspired and why not I'm gonna be doing the Disney tag and I just realized I didn't think this through because I didn't get the questions off my phone so be right back oh no why does this always happen so I just printed them off my phone the Disney questions that I'm gonna answer for this Disney tag because I feel like as a Disney youtuber I should do this here we go first question is favorite character that's a hard question, I've got a lot of those. Baymax is my number one favorite character right now. It always changes. My group of favorite characters would be Baymax, Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, and Chippendale, and Rapunzel. And Tinkerbell too, but like, she's more in like, the ones that I like more. But like, out of my favorites, like, those would be it. Favorite villain, Ursula, who I think is on my hat. Yeah, right there. There's Ursula. You can get this pin and so many more amazing pins at Shop Magic Main Street. Favorite hero. Hmm, probably Hercules. I like Hercules. He's considered a hero, right? Yeah, I like Hercules. Favorite heroine? Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. Favorite princess? Rapunzel, for sure. Love Rapunzel. Everything Rapunzel. Like, I just need everything Rapunzel in my life. Um, favorite prince? Flynn Rider. Is he really even considered a prince? I don't know, but I'd have to pick him. Favorite animal sidekick? Uh, if it was just favorite sidekick, I'd say Baymax, but he's not really an animal. Um, I like Pua or Hey Hey from Moana. Favorite human sidekick. Baymax is not a human, again. Oh, actually, not true. My favorite animal sidekick is probably Maximus. Who has a human sidekick? Huh, I don't really know. I guess Maui is kind of Moana sidekick or the other way around. I don't know, let's just say Maui or Moana because I don't really know off the top of my head. Favorite princess movie, Tangled, for sure. Well, Beauty and the Beast live action and then Tangled. Sorry, Tangled. Favorite non-princess movie? Mm, Finding Nemo, for sure. I don't know why I had to think about that. Finding Nemo. Favorite scene? My favorite scene is probably when Olaf is singing about summer. That's probably my favorite scene. Olaf is just so funny. I love Olaf too. He's one of my favorites too. Favorite song? When Can I See You Again by Owl City. I think it's Owl City. Um, from Rocket Ralph. I like that movie too. It's really underrated. Favorite couple? Mm, favorite couple? Probably Belle and Beast. My favorite kiss, Ariel and Prince Eric, of course. They're just, they're just so cute. Favorite hair, I don't know. Probably Belle, but more specifically Emma Watson Belle. I just love Emma Watson and she's just so pretty. Favorite fairy, Tinkerbell, of course. Favorite dance, Beauty and the Beast dance, duh. Scene in any Disney movie you wish you could experience. Like in person? Probably, oh, that's a good question. Probably want to experience any scene with Baymax where he's, I would probably want to be sitting there and watching Baymax petting the cat and be like, hairy baby. Or I would want to be there when Olaf um, find, or is like walking around in Elsa's castle because I thought that was kind of funny. Which world or setting would you want to live in the most? Probably Arendelle, definitely Arendelle, yeah. They're all just like, so just like, they just all seem nice. Like, I know that they're cartoon characters, but they're nice. Um, and I love the cold. The cold doesn't bother me anyway. <laughs> all right, I'll stop. Which Disney slash Pixar character are you the most like? Probably Anna, just because I'm really uh, naive to a lot of things. Like, how could she, she's like kind of naive to marriage. I mean, I wouldn't be that naive, but, and she's just very bubbly and positive about everything. And I try to be, I try to be like that. Probably not a perfect Anna, but if I had to pick close to that. Or maybe um, Ariel, because I'm very ambitious and I like, you know new things and I like to adventure and like in that way sort of I don't know I'm definitely not like Belle because I don't like to read <laughs> which Disney slash Pixar character do you relate to the most hmm honestly Belle because even though I don't like to read I relate to her because people think I'm weird and especially because of my Disney obsession which I'm so glad that I came into this community because I found a bunch of people who don't think I'm weird and have the same obsession as me but probably Belle because a lot of people think I'm weird and that I'm odd and that I'm strange. Scene slash moment that never fails to make you cry or tear up. I don't really cry at Disney movies. Is that bad? I don't know. I guess in the live action when Belle 
was, or when Emma Watson Bell was crying um, and holding Beast and told him that she loved him. I guess that's like sad and it makes, it gives me the feels. Oh, actually up, the scene where the wife dies up. That makes me, that makes me sad. I don't ever cry. I'm not a huge movie crier in general, but those two scenes make me really sad and like give me the feels. Favorite sequel? Hmm. Finding Dory. Definitely Finding Dory. Favorite outfit? Belle's dress. Belle's beautiful yellow dress. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to put that dress on. Favorite wardrobe? I don't know. Probably... Probably Elsa. Elsa's got some pretty cool clothes. Favorite setting? Arendelle. Still, I love Arendelle. It's so beautiful. Favorite Disney soundtrack? Beauty and the Beast live action is really my thing right now, but I do love the Frozen soundtrack as well. Favorite ride at Disneyland? I've never been to Disneyland, so I wouldn't know. Favorite ride at Disney World? There's a lot of them that I love, but my all-time favorite would have to be Peter Pan's Flight. It's been my favorite ever since the first time that I went. It was the most magical ride, and it was the time that I really kind of started to realize, you know, that I love Disney World, and this is what it's all about, because it's just so magical flying over Neverland. Like, I love Peter Pan and everything. Love it. It's just so magical. And when I was, like, six or seven and I went for the first time, I was sitting on one of the little, like, boats with my poppy, and I said, thank you for taking us to Disney World. This is the best day ever. And so that will forever be my favorite ride. I rode it both times I went, and it's just still the most magical thing ever, and it just gives you all the magical feels and really just it's when you ride that ride that it finally sets in like besides seeing the cast and everything that like you're in the magical place and like it just makes me so happy like I could cry talking about it favorite resort at Disneyland or Disney World there's two questions about that and I don't really know because I haven't been to either any of resorts but my favorite resort at Disney World according to what I've seen is probably Pop Century or no Art of Animation Art of Animation from what I've seen on like videos and Instagram and stuff seems to be my favorite favorite show at the parks mm, I liked Finding Nemo, um, the musical, that was really cute, and um, Beauty of the Beast, the show, it was really, really cute and really cool to see. Favorite restaurant at the parks? I don't really have like a favorite restaurant, restaurant, but like my favorite little like shop is the confectionery. Favorite food at the parks? By far, a Mickey bar. Mickey bar is my favorite go-to thing. I remember I was eating Mickey bars before they were even like cool. Um, well, I mean, they were always cool, but like before people started being really obsessed with them, like when I was seven, I ate one of my grandma's was like, why did you get that? That's the messiest thing you could have gotten. I'm sitting there like dripping everywhere because it's good. I don't know. It was good and I didn't eat one my second trip, but I really wish I had. Favorite face character at the parks? Peter Pan, for sure, because he was hysterical. Recently when I went on my trip, we went and actually met characters because the first time we went, it was really busy lines and we were really little and just didn't want to wait in lines and stuff so we didn't meet characters and we only went to Magic Kingdom for one day. Um, we were talking to Peter Pan and we had my celebrating but none and we hadn't written anything on it yet. We didn't ever write anything on it. I just ended up writing 2016 on mine just because to remind me that's when we went. My, um, I was, he looks at my button and he kind of crossed his hands and he looks at me and he looks at me. Or he looks at my face, he looks at the button, he looks at me and he looks at the button and goes, what are you celebrating? And I was like, oh, because we already, already talked about it. Oh, we're just kind of celebrating, you know, family togetherness, you know, just being in Walt Disney World. He goes, ugh. Why would you want to celebrate that? That sounds boring. And I just started dying laughing. It was so funny. And I don't think my grandma necessarily thought it was as funny as I did because I like know that like they're in character and stuff and they act like that, but it was really funny. Favorite piece of Disney clothing? Ears, love ears, have an obsession. I'm not wearing ears in this video, but anything that has a Mickey Mouse on it, I love, but ears are my favorite. Oh, never mind. Uh, there's a question about accessories. Um, So let's switch those. Favorite Disney accessory would be ears. Favorite Disney clothing would probably just be a shirt or a backpack. What's your backpack still accessory? Okay, then, um, I don't know. <laughs> Disney socks. I love Disney socks, so we'll say Disney socks for that. Favorite piece of Disney merchandise? Pins or the chip cup, which I have yet to get, and I really, really want it, but there's no Primax near me, and they don't have them at my Disney store, and I gotta wait till I go to the parks. Hmm. Favorite Disney pin? Oh, I, I did these out of order. Those were, okay, let me show you. Um, I'll answer this question, and I'll show you what I did. Favorite Disney pin? <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, I don't have it. Um, I'll insert a picture of it if I can find it. It's like half Belle and half Beast and it's like heart and they're like broken pieces but they're connected by chain links. It's really pretty. I'll show you what I did. I read all the way down and then read these that were supposed to be read last and then read down this row, but that's okay. So that's all the questions for this Disney tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other questions for me that I did not answer or anything that's not like based on this, but based on my life or my obsession with Disney, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. Become a patron. Support my channel. Um, the link for that will be right here and in the description box below. Basically, that helps me to kind of make sort of a living off of this um and it, all proceeds will go to sending me to disney me and my family to disney world next july and give me a little bit of souvenir money for disney dreamers academy if i get accepted please pray and send lots of pixie dust that i get get accepted into that my instagram is aubrey of arendelle and uh like 
and subscribe and comment what you guys want to see next and like i said your questions and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye